Count's House, as it is called, is not something that visitors would expect to find at the side of the River Weir in the heart of Durham City. And in truth, the Count's House is not the Count's House either. I think that needs a bit of explaining. The Count in question was Joseph Borowlaski, a self-styled Polish Count who arrived in Britain in 1782. He grew to a little over three feet tall and achieved some fame earning his living entertaining the public with music and exaggerated tales of his adventures. His memoir was published in 1788 and went through several editions in translations during his lifetime. He was quoted as saying, Poland was my cradle, England is my nest, Durham is my quiet place where my weary bones shall rest. In his advancing years Borowlaski accepted an offer to live in Durham from Thomas Ebden organist of Durham Cathedral. He lived in Banks's cottage in the South Bailey with the unmarried daughters of Thomas Ebden. There remains an unfounded local folktale where, having fallen on hard times, Borowlaski lived in the folly, but this is sheer invention. He died in 1837 at the grand old age of 97, having spent 46 years in Durham and was buried in Durham Cathedral. The Count's house was in fact constructed around 1810 as a folly on the riverbank and occasionally to serve as a summer house. It was designed by the Durham architect Ignatius Bonomi in the style of a Greek temple built in coarse sandstone rubble with an ashlar portico with classic Grecian style Doric columns and a stone flagged roof. Interestingly, despite the Count having never lived in the folly there are records of at least two families who at one time did live inside the structure, one of whom was a family of seven. The folly lies just beyond Prepens Bridge and due to vandalism it is now gated shut and can only be seen from the outside peering in. The best ways to get there are across Prepens Bridge or a walk along the riverbank from Framwellgate Bridge or through the South Bailey to the riverbank. <laughs> 